Is that a battery in your pocket or are you just happy to see me? It's a battery. It's, it's a battery. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there she is, checkmate, maiden flight. Um, I'll be honest, this is a bit of a bittersweet project. You know, uh, Sherman Smoot and the aircraft were lost. I, I really debated what to do, whether to continue or not. You know, as a scale modeler, so much of this is, is less about, you know, the physical creation of a project and so much more about you know the memory of those who operated the machinery and and the machinery itself and i wanted to continue and uh and, and see it through to completion my goal is to try and honor sherman smoot and the checkmate team in some small way uh, and so yeah i'm excited to to get her flown and and uh yeah in honor of, of sherm so she is ready to go i've double checked everything I ended up having to add eight ounces of weight to the nose to get the CG where it needed to be. I mean, it's a really short nose on here and all of the work that was performed on the airplane is all behind the CG. The taller tail, the F1 style canopy. So I guess it's not really that surprising. I was hoping it was gonna be not so much, uh, but yeah, it is what it is. But as long as the CG is in the right place, we should be good to go. So, you know, I, I covered this all on flight metal. That was more of an undertaking than I anticipated. Uh, but you know, if you saw in my finished video, right, where we applied the aluminum, you got to do a panel by panel. And, and the end result is fantastic. There are challenges because of the foam underneath. It's really hard to burnish the material down. So I could imagine on, you know, fiberglass model, when I do this on the B-58, I should be able to work out all of those imperfections. So I call this, this is my Monet, as you will. One art, please. Best admired from a distance. Uh, and so, uh, you know, in the sun, it, gosh, the, it, you can't beat the reflective properties of true metal. Uh, and so it really glistens in the sun beautifully. So I'm, I'm excited to see how it looks in the air. Yeah, that was a good distance, range check looks good. So, yeah, I didn't expect any issues with the metal, but better safe than sorry. All right, now we gotta figure out which way we're gonna go. All right, here we go. You guys ready? Yep. <sighs> Feels good. I haven't even gotten to full throttle yet. I don't hear a lot of trim click either. No, it didn't require any trim. Man, it, that silver disappears with that. <laughs> Yeah. 
the full throttle, see how she does. See what it does in the inverted. See how the CG feels. It feels perfect upright, so probably won't change it. But see how it feels. CG looks really good. All right, she needed all those eight ounces. <laughs> See how she feels. Slow. Oh, it feels really good. Yeah, she slows down beautifully. Right, here we go. Fly fast, turn left. trees behind us. Okay. Yeah, you can hear the sound bouncing off the whatever's behind us, the hill and the trees. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Let me do a photo pass for Drop the gear, drop the flaps. I love it. CG felt perfect. Fly controls, perfect. No trim needed. So all of the work that we did didn't change the trim at all. I love the look of it. I can't even say how cool it looks in the air. I will say the silver in the distance, it will tend to disappear in the blue sky. That's pretty normal. I've had other silver airplanes. That's kind of the worst color to fly in a blue sky. But yeah, I love this thing. I love how it came out, how it flies, I'm stoked. I cannot wait to fly it some more. So yeah, I'm I'm super, super excited. Yeah. I think that could have went any better. Uh, dude, <laughs> I'm so stoked. It felt so good. Like the airplane flew great before uh, and I really liked it before, but you know how it is. You put a bunch of work into it and then, you know, you become emotionally attached. Yeah. And, and so I was a little nervous just because of the incident I had a couple weeks ago. <laughs> with the pumpkin, but uh, no, nah, that couldn't, couldn't have gone any better. So let's get another flight in. Do it. 
battery all the way forward. I think it's my new favorite plane. Suit you. All right, man. Yak 11, this one's for you, Sherm. I, I hope this honors you and your legacy in some small way. It was really a punch in the gut as I was working on this to find out that the cube was lost, the airplane was lost, but um, I mean, this is, this is for them. And so that's all I can say. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out this next video and uh, I'll see you at the field. Cut. <laughs>